Hi guys, I have some news I'd like to share with you. If you like these kinds of videos, let me know and I will do more of them. Um, I also have some projects going for you. It's just I have to delegate my time elsewhere and these are really, really super duper easy to do since I'm just reading a news article. Um, let me see here. Okay, Charity Guide drives cancer patients for free. New York City Taxi Commission tries to seize his car. And this is from Reason.com, and it's dated June 4th, 2014. The New York Taxi and Limousine Commission, TLC, seems to be set on demonstrating the old saw that no good deed goes unpunished. On Monday, TLC officers impounded the car of 25-year-old Yeshia Liberitz and issued him a $2,000 citation, the Daily News reports. His crime? Offering free rides to cancer patients as part of his work with the Jewish charity Chest. I tried to explain to him we're not a car service, Yeshia Liberitz 25 said of the Monday Misadventure in Borough Park, Brooklyn. The TLC officer wasn't interested and instead made off with the car, leaving the two sick elderly patients stranded on the side of the road and Leibowitz holding a hefty citation. The New York Daily News has been reporting on a recent push by the Taxi and Limousine Commission to crack down on gypsy cabs, unlicensed drivers who pick up passenger or help out neighbors, friends, or relatives when they need a lift in exchange for some cash. Sorry, my camera crapped out, and I probably won't edit this out because I'm too lazy to. All right. Gypsy cabs, of course, are the original ride-sharing technology. Lyft without the pink mustache, and Uber without the app. Ride-sharing makes ca taxi commissions awful nervous, and when powerful monopolists get nervous, they tend to get mean. Yeah. I'm sure Bernard von Nothaus and his Liberty Dollar could tell you all about that. This incident has a happy ending. A local politician intervened and the summons was dismissed. But those charity workers had better be careful. Challenging urban taxi commissions can be a dangerous move. Just ask Reason's own Jim Epstein, who was arrested for trying to film a meeting of the D.C. Taxi Commission. And below the article, there's um, a video by Reason.com, and they have a YouTube channel, and I am a subscriber. And I am going to also link that below, and I will link the video right here if I can. If not, look for it down in the description box. Um, I would highly suggest... Subscribing to Reason TV or their or their YouTube channel because they are really good. They do some really um, fantastic reports. And if not, subscribe for Go Remy because he does the awesomest music and songs and videos. He's like the Weird Al Yankovic of politics. He did a great one where he parodied um, blurred blurred lines, and it was all about the Anthony Weiner cell phone thing and then he has this one called the debt ceiling wrap and it's it's fed life baby it's just fed life so um i'll link since i mentioned both of those i'll link those either here or down in the description box or perhaps up here maybe because there's two of them so one here and one here ah! all right guys i will um I will see you with my channel update and let you know because I've got some personal drama and I'm ready to go public with it even though I'm still in the middle of a shit storm. So stay tuned for that and many other things that I have kind of piling up here that I'd like to share with you, especially the JFK one. Bye.